All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome to a uh, my new series. It's going to be a Let's Play on Fallout 4 um, on the PS4, which there's actually a lot of them out there already, obviously. Um, I'm also doing another one alongside of this that's going to be a role play, hopefully. Um, I don't know. Uh, we'll see how it is. I don't know. I'm a little nervous about that one because it's, it's really tricky. Anyway, it's hard for me to do that one. Anyway. So this one here is going to be a bit different, though. It's going to be a uh, Iron Man one, basically, um, like permadeath kind of deal. Um, so what I'm going to do is I already built, my, customized my character, did all that. I'm going to do the name, and then I'm going to set up the attributes. These are going to be um, base attributes. What we're going to do is every time, if I die, we delete all the quick saves, we delete all the saves attached to this one, except the first hard save, which is going to be, at, which is going to start exiting like right probably I'm either gonna start it right after the vault or right after your first encounter with uh, Codsworth in the town just bypassing that whole part of the story um, to where you gotta go into the the first town and deal with the stuff out there which yeah that's gonna be a little tricky but anyway there's gonna be spoilers because I am going to be using the story mission at some points to level up I'm gonna be skipping most of the dialogue I'm not gonna be really reading through it I'm not gonna be this isn't, you know, a let's play to get yourself the story. This is just a, a let's play to do basically a, uh, um, a hardcore. Uh, let's do, let's do Tommy. All right, we're gonna go uh, five in strength at least, six in endurance, and uh, we're gonna do four there. Three agility, two luck for now, two charisma. I'm not too worried about getting out of things. Awareness and sixth sense and effects. Okay, this is that accuracy. We're kind of gonna need that. Um, one other point. One other point. We could go agility if we want to go sneak. Yeah, we're gonna go one more in endurance and one more in strength. We're gonna close it just like that. This is gonna be the base. This is not gonna change because the auto load when we die and we start over. It's going to take place from right after the first, probably, right after they deal with Codsworth and all that dialogue jazz in the main town. So every time we die, we go back. We lose everything we've earned. Um, you know, levels, progress, items, weapons, whatever we built, everything, it goes away. So I'm going to be very careful throughout this process and, uh, you know, do the best uh, I can to um, again. not die, of course, it's but it's going to be exciting. Pick that up? No, not yet. Okay. Sean, no prices too but like I said, I'm going to talk over dialogue. If you want to hear the story, you can uh, check out my roleplay series or someone else's Let's Play. But anyway, let's. Uh, I'm going to rock this out, get through this as quick as I can, and I will. Uh, I'll see you guys as soon as I deal with the encounter with Codsworth in the first town. All right, everybody, what's going on? Welcome back, and uh, we are now going. I'm. At the moment, I don't know if it shows up on camera or not. I'm putting in the hard save that we're going to reload up upon death. Every character that starts will start here. I also want to go in quickly and show you guys that I did make adjustments to the specials because I realized that strength was not that important because I'm not going to be meleeing very much. And yeah, carrying is important, but I thought it would be better used in endurance for more life and in intel. And then we got the book, the special book, which added one to any... Uh, special so I slapped that into luck to uh, up the crit hits all right, so We don't have a whole lot um, Trying to skip the dialogue at one point. I accidentally somehow ended up using uh, Two stim packs which really sucked. I do have a ton of junk of course nods and ammo um, All right, so what we're gonna do there is a workbench up here somewhere. This is going to be good with the endurance because it'll give us the ability to run away from monsters in which we cannot defeat and we'll just die trying to. Okay, great, fantastic, thank you. Exit, transfer, store everything. Perfect. Um, ow. Because I died to a rad roach in the very beginning. Well done. Uh, this is going to be a lot different than my normal play, because I'm usually really, like, I want to pick up pretty much everything, and, um, I just, I'm trying to see really quick what we get from this. Steel, wood, concrete, and uh, we don't really get anything that I could use. We may build a shelter at some point, I don't know. I don't want to put too much time into that, because 
simply because I don't want to lose it. Um, I'll also be using quick save. Oh my gosh. Some frag grenades right off the start. Yes, please. Stupid tips that are really annoying. Doesn't seem you can turn them off either. Um, let's hotkey this uh, place where I can do it without blowing, accidentally doing it. Alright, and that's fine. But yeah, I think that'll be main our home base, I think. I haven't figured out if I'm going to do any fast traveling or not. I don't really think monsters respawn. A pipe pistol and drifter outfit. I'll well, take the drifter outfit because it's probably better than what I'm wearing currently. Perception one for that. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah, it definitely is. The vault suit. Was, uh, vault suit's pretty good for radiation, actually. Pipe pistol is 13, and this is 18. So we are going to stick with that. That's 30. Although, the only good thing about a pipe pistol uses 38 rounds, which are extremely common in this game. Eh, I was hoping it was fully automatic. There, like I said, there's definitely going to be spoilers in this. Um, I'm going to use any of my knowledge to this game to my advantage, so... Let's quickly go get uh, hey, boy. our dog here. By yourself? Dog meat. You wanna come with me? All right, there we go. Our character looks pretty funny. The first video, the first episode in this series is gonna be kind of short. Um, just because I don't, I don't have a ton of time right now. Unfortunately, I wish I did, but I don't. Uh, we're gonna get ready for these uh, mole. Mole rats that are gonna be up coming in to attack me very soon. Uh, I thought there was, um, yeah, some caps there. That's gonna be pretty important is finding ourselves a shop. So, we'll probably get rolling on that as soon as we can. Getting up buttercups are always good, cream is good for healage. And there's our workbench. We're gonna shut off all radios as much, you know, as, uh, quickly as we can just because we don't have to worry about copyright issues All right, I was really sure that mole rats attacked here but maybe they're broken right now come on you okay well we don't want to do that so we're gonna just cancel the commands let's roll Ah, oh, there we go um, I'll be using vats as well as not so much using vats holy crap Ow. Storing criticals is going to be really, really important. So I got to figure out how to get that ability. I think that's the direction I want to go for this this time particular build. That's going to be the the cool part is changing it up every single. Uh, is that tin or something? Oh, aluminum can. Aluminum's good. Sweet, snap back. Um, that's going to be the, one of the cool things is switching it up every time. Like we'll be able to. Uh, you know, run a different build basically every time. Let's see, what do we got? We got grilled rat roaches. It takes three to make one grilled rat roach uh, steak, basically. So we're gonna we're gonna rock that out. What do we get for that? We get 120 HP and plus 25 carrying capacity for the time that it lasts. That's amazing. Mole rat chunks. We can do plus five AP for 15 minutes, which is actually really good. Definitely making some of those. There's a lot of really good uh, foods that are going to help us survive in this. Uh, I think this is going to be a really, really, really fun series. I'm going to try to keep the energy as high as I can. And uh, I'm going to try not to do so much of the same stuff every time. Man, we really... Um, uh, we have, we're not, yeah, it's not going to happen. Spoiler are very common. Please do not watch this if you're worried about having spoilers. Because not only will you see it, but I will be talking about stuff as well. Um, this In this town is the main story. And yeah, it's very, very, very dangerous. Let's uh, let's set a waypoint right there. We're just going to go. We're just going to explore some randomness and see if we can find some enemies or some items. Um, normally I run a very sneaky build. Like I, I crouch a lot, go for the sneak attacks and that's that's my normal playstyle. Okay, we get it. Go away. Terrible, annoying tip. I will take a. Oh, we did not even get one anyway on that. This is where bats comes in. Ow, handy. 
or not. Great stuff. Look at that. We leveled up in the first episode. I didn't think we'd accomplish anything in the first episode. There's so many dangers in this game, and with... Oh, and if I did not mention... Quick save to avoid any bugs or glitches. We'll be playing on survival mode. Of course. Because how interesting would it be to do an Iron Man if we were on easy, right? I mean, come on. We need we need a scope. would be amazing if we could get a scope. Let me just check the map really quick. All right, that doesn't appear to be anything major, so let's go check it out. I mean, again, I do want to do quest submissions because it is the best way to level up in this game. Kind of want to steer clear of the main story a little bit right now because the main story, the first mission is actually really freaking hard, in my opinion, anyway, on Iron Man difficulty. So, oh, we can do some chems. This is actually something I didn't use. I haven't actually really used in mine. Berserk syringe. Chance to frenzy. Okay. Damage over 10 seconds. These are pretty freaking cool. This is for the, like, the syringe. Gun. There are some people here. I'll get around to it. What are you waiting for exactly? You to quit me about that. Well, if you've got anything worth trading, you can talk to me. Awesome. This is yeah, all right. fantastic. So we got it. We got ourselves our first shop. This is this is good. Uh, bobby pins are always useful. You know what we should do? We should go back and ransack the first town because that place is loaded with a bunch of starting crap. This is really what you have? Dear goodness. We got a glow sighted heavy pipe pistol. Doesn't seem worth buying. Now that is that. Radex will probably be useful, but for 128 caps, she's on crack. Or something similar. Hmm. That's close enough, stranger. We're a peaceful farm. We don't want any trouble. It's okay, I'm friendly. Not looking to cause any trouble. If you say so, but be warned, we're armed here. So don't try anything. Let me tell you, farming ain't easy. Out in the field all day, every day, and every minute of it, spent watching your back. Farming's hard work. Won't argue with that. Blake Abernathy. You new to the Commonwealth? I'm... Yeah. You could say that. Good to see a new face. How about you? Ever think about work in the land? I'm sure I'll give it a try someday. Well, good luck to you then. Maybe I'll see you at the Diamond City Market someday and we'll do a swap. Word of advice, why do all the hard work when you can just take what you want at gunpoint? You need to do what you can to protect you and your family. It ain't that simple. They're well armed and there's lots of them. If I drive them off, they'll be back with twice as many men. Last time those raiders hit us, my daughter Mary tried to stand up to them. Now she's buried out back of the house. Only 21 years old, and they shot her down without a thought. That's why we need the Minutemen back. And the sooner, the better.
If your daughter was that stupid, she got what she deserved. You're a real son of a bitch, aren't you? Get the hell off my land and don't show your face here again. <laughs>